Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another news. President Muhammadu Buhari has told a children's day delegation that no one would import foreign foreigners to come and run our country if the, if the children are not raised up for responsibility. Buhari added that he never knew that he would lead Nigeria, to, let alone let it lead it twice as a military head of state in 1983 for two terms as a civilian president for 2015 to 2013. The president said this on Saturday in Abuja, Abuja when he hosted a delegation of about 40 children at the council chamber of the state house to mark his his last children did celebration as president. A senior special assistant to President Mamadou Bari on publicity, Kapashe revealed this in a statement he signed late, late Saturday night, titled President Mamadou Bari Old Children at the State House, unveils his comic book on children's role in nation building. She will inform that President Muhammad Bari expressed fulfillment in interacting with children on the cusp of his exit from the office after his eight years presidency, stressing that children were the leaders of tomorrow. The president who encouraged the children to be good citizens before, good, before becoming good leaders. God spared my life to grow up from a child to an adult. As, an, as students, we were told that we were leaders of tomorrow. I never knew that I would one, one day lead my country, much less lead it twice as a military officer and as a civilian. Therefore, I would like to say that among you, there are future councillors, lawmakers, governors, and presidents. You must first be a good citizen, citizen before you become a leader. Reminding the children of their ultimate destiny, he said the country is going to be in good and one day. We are not going to import foreigners to come and run our country. We must do that ourselves. When we say the future of the country is in your hands, we are not doing you any favor. It is a fact of life. That is why I find it satisfying that I am having inter- this interaction with you. I am privileged to be standing in front of a new generation of future citizens and leaders to whom we hope to banquet a country they can be proud of and a country they will, be, they will take higher in the community of nations where it is their turn to serve their fatherland, Bari stated. While asking the children what kind of Nigerian they want, the former military ruler underscored the importance of honesty patriotism and unity in building a peaceful and prosperous nation. When I'm talking about a country full of ordinary citizens and patriotic citizens, I'm not talking about some aliens, I am talking about you. The future starts with you. If you are going to be honest, it starts today. Not when you get into a public office or become a managing director. If you are going to be patriotic, it starts today, not when you are finished school, he said. In the comic titled How to Make Nigeria Great, the president outlined seven reasons from the publication that will help shape the future of a great country. The lesson include believing in God and loving Nigeria, understanding and respecting our difference, living by the rules, thinking for the community, embracing good values, seeing government money as our money, and being good children at home and in school. Barry expressed gratitude to the children for spending time with him and concluded his speech by reiterating a statement he made, he made about four decades ago. I said, sometime in seven, I said something in 1984, and I will end this speech by repeating it. We have no other country but Nigeria. We will stay here and salvage it together.
President Muhammad Bari told a children the delegation that no one would import foreigners to come and run Nigeria for us if the children are not braced up for the responsibility. President Muhammad Bari made it known that he never knew he was going to lead Nigeria, let alone twice as a military head of state in 1983 and for two terms as a civilian president from 2015 to 2023. The president said this on Saturday in Abuja when he hosted a delegation of 40 children at the council chamber of the house to mark his last Children's Day celebration as president. The senior special assistant to President Mamadou Bari on media and publicity, Gaba Shewo, reviewed this in a statement he signed late Saturday night. Children's Day being a commemorative date celebrated annually, in honor of children, whose date of observance varies by country. In 1925, International Children's Day was first proclaimed in Geneva during the World Conference of Child Welfare. Since 1950, it is celebrated on the June on the first of June in most in most communist and post-communist countries. World Children's Day is celebrated on the 20th of November to commemorate the Declaration of the Rights of Children and the United Nations General Assembly on the 20th of November 1959. In some countries, it is Children's Week and not Children's Day. The Skis Children's Day, Day on the 20th of December to 20th, 27th of December. In the United States, Children's Day is celebrated on the second Sunday of June. The Children's Day began on the second Sunday of June in 1857 by Reverend Dr. Charles Leonard, pastor of the Universalist Church of the Redeemed in Chelsea, Matiket. Leonard held a special service dedicated to, dedicated to and for the children. Nuna named the day Rose Day, though it was later named Flower Sunday, and then named Children's Day. Children's Day was first officially declared a national holiday by the Republican Republic of Turkey in 1920, with the set date of the 23rd of April. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. Bye for now and I will see you on the next news.